All right, so solutes depress the freezing point of pure compounds, and they also elevate the boiling point. So they kind of do the opposite. In, in freezing, they depress it, they make it lower. In boiling, they elevate it, they make it higher. So solutes increase, hence the word elevation, the boiling point of solutions. So for example, something like salt water would have a higher boiling point than something like uh, pure water. The equation is essentially the, the same. It's delta TB, the change in the boiling point is equal to molality times KB, which is just the um, boiling point elevation constant. So our question here will be calculate the boiling point of a 1.2 molal ethylene glycol solution. and it's aqueous, right? So that means that our solvent is water um, for, so we're gonna copy down the equation, delta TB equals molal KB. This KB, you'd have to be given this value. Um, it totally depends on um, which solvent you're talking about. The KB for water is equal to 0 0.512 degrees Celsius kilogram over mole. And then of course here, we wanna take this 1.2 molal, plug it into there. And then we get delta TB is equal to 1.2 moles over kilograms, right? Those are the units of the molal. And then 0 0.512 degrees Celsius kilogram over mole. Mole, mole, kilogram, kilogram, cancel out. We're left with uh, the uh, degree Celsius. And we get 0 0.61 degrees Celsius. Now, this is where students oftentimes make a, a bit of a blunder here. And a lot of students will tell me, oh, the freezing point of the salt water is 0. 0.61 degrees Celsius. That doesn't make any sense, right? Water normally boils at 100 degrees Celsius. How would adding a little bit of salt make it boil at less than one degree Celsius, right? We'd all be dead if that was true. So remember that this is the difference, not the final value, right? Water normally boils at 100.00 degrees Celsius. And so since we have elevation here, we want to add our value, right? This is the difference. We want to add it onto our 100. You can make it a fancy equation or you can just think about it logically, whatever you wanna do. At the end, we get the value of 100.61 degrees Celsius, right? Again, this is boiling point elevation, so your solution should boil at a higher temperature than the pure compound. And again, these are just plug and chug type of problems. Um, you know, just get used to them, do some practice and you should be okay.